Why does my camera always get the last frame of me coming to bro? That's so weird. I don't know how my camera always gets the last frame of me walking out or uh, wherever it is. But hey, hopefully you guys are doing good today. How are you guys doing today? Doing good? I don't know if my camera is out of line, but but hey, hopefully you guys are doing well. Micah, thank you for the nine months. You crave warm dairy products. I don't know why anyone would want warm milk. That sounds not that appetizing. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to class. Hey, it's been a while. I know it's been a while. Um, Yeah, I, after the Cancun trip, there was a bit of uh, some misschedule. But hey, doesn't matter. We're back now. So, yeah, today um, we will uh, have a good class today. I'm excited. Anyways, let's get into it, though. First of all... Let's see. Okay. Well, yeah. Let me get the camera set up. Yo, type a 1 in the chat if you guys have a pen and paper for class today. If you don't, we can hand out some graph paper. Uh, otherwise, I think we'll be, we'll be okay for now. Should be okay for now. Yeah, I want to make sure everyone's able to take notes. Don't got a graph paper? Okay. Uh, can someone please help him out? Please help him out. You got six cups of G fuel in your system and ready to learn. That's what's up, man. Now, now we're ready. That's what I like to hear, man. I would like to hear. Looking fantasy today, Athena? Uh, Athena's over there. Uh, I'm Professor Legion. You know, I'm a, I'm a different guy. Uh, so yeah, he's he's taking his break right now, and um, yeah, I'll just I'll just be here. Oh uh, yeah, if you ever need a pencil, I have a uh, pencil jar here. I also have erasers. You can take these are just mechanical pencils. Y'all can take them out however you'd like. But anyways, today's class is R Six Academy Game Sense. This is Chapter Five. If you guys have not caught up on the past uh, classes, please go on the YouTube and watch those. But starting off with the warm up for class today. Let me go ahead and move my camera a little bit. Hold on. Go put that there. All right. Boom. Thanks for the sub. Kavo, thanks for the sub. I see. Thanks for the sub. Chat. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of pair and share. So please grab a partner. Uh, the person on your left or right is okay, but today's warm up is what is is an example of game sense. So uh, we're gonna take a little bit. Everybody in the chat, put right now, what is an example of game sense? Uh, it could be a short answer, not too long. We'll take about thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Uh, everyone can type their answer. Hey, well, just go ahead and sit down. Yeah, class is uh, class already started. Please don't be late next time. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry, man. Thank you. Um, and also, do you have a piece of uh, paper for the warm-up, please? Yeah, someone is helping out right there. Okay. All right. Let's look at the answers in chat right now. Knowing what to do. Okay. What a, what a very technical answer. Pray fire and angle, droning, audio cues. Um... Not putting the camera on the ground. Understanding situational game awareness. Good, good. Looks like everybody here kind of looks, looks pretty good. So, good warm up. Now, what is the definition of game sense? Oh my god, why do I keep... You know what? I'm going to talk over it. Let's just... Uh, actually, I want to put myself down here. I'm furious. Okay. Let's do this for now. Do this for now. Brian, thanks for the sub. In the context of Rainbow Six Siege, Game Sense refers to a player's ability to make informed and strategic decisions during a match based on their deep understanding of the game's mechanics, 
map nail layouts, operator abilities, and the current state of the match. Now we know we're in a very aggressive TDM kind of meta. Uh, game sense is a crucial skill for success in Rainbow Six Siege as it involves a player's awareness of various elements. And those elements we were talking about were, uh, you guys said drone, someone said yelling. Okay, I don't know about yelling, but pre-firing, knowing the maps. Someone even said awareness himself. So good answers. Looks like you guys are already hot on the topic. Interesting choice of color background makes you need to use the toilet. If you need to use the bathroom, please use a hall pass over there. Please make sure you bring the hall pass back. And remember, there is toilet paper in the toilet. You don't need to use the hall pass as the wiper, okay? All right, we already have some students uh, have some mess ups with that. Listen, I had to take out of the teacher's salary to get you guys new pencils, graph paper, uh, desks. Like the teachers had to, had to fund the classroom, okay? So please, guys, let's be aware of the teacher's salary. Okay. So, going on to map knowledge, how does game sense tie in with map knowledge? Knowing the layout of the maps, including the room names, common entry points, and potential trap locations. Remember, we are in a TDM meta with very aggressive, fast pace. You know, knowing good trap locations is very, very crucial. This also allows players to navigate efficiently and anticipate enemy movements. This goes a bit of predicting. Now, we will get into predicting later. You, perp you pooped your pants on accident? Oh my god, man. Here. Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, please, like, just go, go take care of the outside. It's gross, man. Hand sanitizer over there, too. So, moving on to operator abilities. Understanding the unique abilities and gadgets of every operator in the game as well as how to be used them for offense, defense, or support is essential for effective team play. So this is this is as simple as, you know, discussing with your team, hey, um, you know, maybe we want to keep the wall closed this time so you bring wall denial. It's very, very simple, intentional operator picks is very, very key. So timing. Now, timing is kind of one of those things where it is out of our control sometimes. However, remember, 90% of our siege gameplay and in general in life is 90% is in your control. The 10% is not in your control. But what you can control for timing is where you are in the map. Uh, how exposed are you to certain opportunities in the round? So recognizing when to push, hold angles, or retreat is vital for staying alive in achieving objectives now your objective could be to roam get a certain kill <clears throat> get a certain kill excuse me and uh, you know or maybe maybe it might be even just be sitting in sight you know waiting for them to, to rush the objective when's the fire drill gonna happen um well fire drills are very random they don't really tell the teachers when it is um but if the bell goes off, we will go single file line. Please make sure no running. Keep it quiet. Quiet coyotes. Okay. Quiet coyotes. Need examples? Ah, thank you for reminding me. I was going to... Let me... um Go provide you some examples. Uh, I, I had it down here, but... I'll give you an example for each uh, each slide that we have. So, an example of map knowledge... For, for game sense, uh, this was really key is potential trap locations. Um, understanding what parts of the map. So let, let's say we have the regular bomb sites, right? And then usually in ranked, people have very common patterns of what they take. Let's say like on an Oregon, Oregon kids bomb site, right? Everybody takes master. Everybody takes big window top or, or walks up white staircase. So... With your game sense, you can kind of position yourself to be ready for those kind of entry points. You can use traps. You can have uh, even take gunfights in those areas. So map knowledge is definitely uh, not only positioning, but understanding what parts of the map are okay to give up versus parts of the map you want to be playing. 
Now, an example of operator abilities is the same thing uh, with the traps, but as well as the gadget. The gadget is the main objective of of the operator itself. So, yeah, you could pick an operator for their gun, especially in this meta where it's mostly just kills and frags. However, you don't want to neglect like uh, of operator abilities, you know, like you want to like before you go into the bomb site, understand, OK, am I trying to get a wall open? um you know how do how does my how does my gadget work with other people like if they if we have an ace but they have an Cade, so let's bring emps just in case let's bring a flores just in case they have a lot of shields uh an example of timing now example of timing would be again recognizing when to push ang push or hold angles and retreat so r6 timing L let's let's just define R6, does, does, I want to make it clear. Does everybody in here understand what R6 timing is? It's kind of a meme at this point. Okay, can someone uh, can someone please raise their hand and I'll call on someone to uh, answer the question. What is R6 timing? R6 timing is kind of like a slang in this game. It's a slang in this game. All right. Luke, chill. Yo, Luke, chill. I pick on you. I pick on you. Explain to me what is R6 timing in this game. I'm just going to keep you guys up here. Luke's taking an awful lot. Basically, so basically pushing when they least expect it. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. That's R6 timing? Incorrect. Negative two points. A different person. Different person. Uh, okay. Uh, clips. Clips, please explain to me what is R6 timing? What does R6 timing mean? Or what, what's, what's an example of it? R6 timing. Clips, go ahead. Answer the question. Answer the question. Okay, someone else answered. When the enemy pushes you the second you look away. Exactly. Exactly. Correct. Gold star for you. Gold star for you. So how can you how can you prevent the second you look away they peak, right? You can prevent that by using uh using utility using a shield maybe a certain trap you're playing off of you can use a teammate a teammate can help you provide more pressure uh throw the enemy off a little bit so that way their timing is a little bit off with yours um but also just playing a bit more kind of like understanding when it's going to happen you know understand like eventually you're gonna get into a gunfight so you can't really prevent it but you can uh move back a room change up your angle every like 10 seconds you know don't be a stationary predictable target um so if you kind of have the general rule which we had in the in the last few classes chat let's see if you guys remember from last class what is the the longest amount of time you should hold an angle before uh you should get off the angle what is the maximum amount of time you should hold an angle before you get off of it because you don't want to be holding an angle forever because then you're gonna have real large six timing you're just asking for it three hours 10 seconds 10 seconds correct correct 10 seconds 10 seconds so that's an example of r6 timing how you can prevent it intel gathering Intel gathering is utilizing cameras, drones, and other tools to gather information about the enemy's team position and intentions can give in a significant advantage. So an example of how, how does GameSense combine with Intel gathering? So, I mean, this is very straightforward. I don't need to overcomplicate it, but let's say I'm an attacker, right? I'm an attacker and I use my drone. Obviously, with my drone, I get a lot more information on what's ahead of me, so that way I can predict their setup. I can predict uh, if someone's flanking, um, as well as maybe if I don't have a drone, you know, you're literally just just 
working with what you got. You know, look at the cards you're dealt with. Uh, on the uh, if, if you're coming up against an Azami holding a certain area, okay, let's grenade her from below. Uh, instead of taking her head on, why don't we clear it with a Zofia first and then push? So it's not that you're like trying to unfold their whole setup, but little things, little objectives as you go. Imagine it like you're trying. Imagine it you're you're a knight trying to get to a castle, right? And there's individual different levels of enemies you have to go through. The first level is you got to get inside the building. The second level is you got to find the roamers, kill the roamers. The third thing is you got to clear the deployable shield in sight. The fourth thing is find find where you want to plant the bomb. And then eventually you're at the top of the castle with the pretty princess, you know, and you won the round. So it's really just because in this game, um, information can expire very, very quickly. So you have to make small micro adjustments with your intel because good game sense is just a trivia of what's the what's the best thing what's the best decision I can make in this situation. It's not that okay, how can I? It's not one decision to win the whole round, but it's like okay, we gotta do this. Okay, this is done. Let's do this now. Let's do this now. It's little things like this, and then eventually, next thing you know, you're at the top of the castle. Yeah, life's one big fairy tale, man. Next thing you know, you're uh, what? Well, uh, what's that princess called from Shrek? Hey, you guys all watch Shrek, right? Yo, type a one in the chat if you watch Shrek one. You know when Shrek is trying to save the princess in the castle, and he has to do all these little things. Fiona, yeah, yeah. So imagine, imagine Fiona, basically. So that's an example of intel gathering. Moving on to team coordination, how does GameSense tie in with this? Communicating and coordinating with teammates to execute strategies, share information, and respond to changing situations is key aspect of GameSense. This is super important because not only we just talk sharing information. Remember the intel gathering of the last slide. Now imagine four, three, or even just like two people sharing information back and forth. I see this. Yo, let's do this instead to coordinate. And you respond to the changing situations. Remember, changing situations is very, you have to, a siege round is always changing. However, you can always find, you can always find a way to figure it out. So communicating and making sure everybody's on the same point. That way your whole team's not just a ton of atoms, you know, bouncing around the room. But however, you guys focus your, your team play on one thing. Now adaptability. This is the main thing about game sense. It's it's understanding what's like the the highest percentage to win in a, in a situation. Being able to adapt to unexpected situations and quickly adjust strategies based on the new information or developments in the match is crucial. Very very crucial. You know, maybe let's say your plan A at the beginning, you know, you're about halfway into your plan, but then boom, suddenly you get flanked and your thermite gets, it gets, gets fucking Thanos snapped. So no more hard breach. And, and, and imagine like you're on theme park thrown and thermite dies and now you have no way in. So what do you do from there? Do you, uh, shiver your timbers? Do you bite your nails? Do you, do you shake in fear? No. You're going to find a way. You're going to make some vertical. You're going to start taking some fights on site. You're going to find a way where you can flood sites. Shiver and quake? No, we're not shiver, shivering and quaking. All right. You fell asleep for a minute. Can you say that again? Listen, listen. If you're going to fall asleep in this class, you might as well get out. I have no tolerance for this bullshit. Get out. Please, if you guys are listening to music, please one earbud in. Unless you're listening to someone good, you know, if you're listening to some weekend, then you can have both earbuds in. However, if you're listening to some Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, leave my class. Just, just, just leave the class or skip it. I don't think anybody's fully listening to a a Cardi B song or a or a Cardi B, you know, like or Nicki Minaj, you know. You're always skipping that part. Predicting the enemy behavior. 
anticipating how opponents might react to your actions and making decisions that will outsmart them is a critical aspect of game sense. What about I Spice? Uh, yeah, I don't know why you're listening to that either. Go ahead and uh, throw your phone in the trash for me. You know what? Give me your phone. Come up here. No, no, you can have it in the class. Give me your phone. Yep. Give me that shit. I'm taking this to the end of class. Anybody else listening to I Spice, Nicki Minaj, or Cardi B, I will take your phone. And I'm going to put it right next to me. And you may sit down and listen to class. Anyways. So one, what's an example of predicting enemy behavior? Uh, this could be based off of their site setup. This could be based off of a uh, certain part of the roaming. Uh, also, sound. Sound is very, very crucial. But you'll notice on every single bomb site you go to, there's always going to be like a very common pattern. So understanding like. And this is also when, when predicting enemy behavior, you have to understand their objective. If they're roaming, they're obviously going to try to hold you at the most common entry points. So that's where you would want to hit him with an off angle, uh, you know, hit him from a different angle, uh, window, enter a more quiet part of the map is really crucial. Clips, thanks for the sub. Solar Eclipse, thanks for the sub. Speaking of Solar Eclipse, I, um, I, I just finished Berserk, by the way. So I don't know if anyone else finished Berserk 1997. Probably one of the best animes I've also watched. I'm adding that to the list. But the main takeaway of Game Sense in this game Game Sense and Rainbow Six Siege is about having a deep understanding of the game's mechanics and dynamics combined with the ability to think critically and make strategic decisions. In real time to outmaneuver and outplay opponents is the skill that develops over time through experience and practice. So guys, please do not rush Game Sense. Like if, if, if there was some fast way to do it, then by all means, let me know because I would be able to make everyone super, super good quickly. But listen, look at Tim the Tatman, look at Cloaksy, look at Dr. T uh, that guy doesn't play the game. Just look at Tim the Tatman because he's been playing the game a lot. But I think a really good thing that Tim does is that he understands that he's a worm. Remember, back to the first lesson of uh, uh, Beginner's Guide. Excuse me. Of the Beginner's Guide. Accept the fact that you are a worm. This way, you have room to improve. So guys, it takes experience and practice. But that is the main slide for... For Game Sense. Now, pop quiz. Surprise quiz. I thought, uh -huh, you thought you were ready? Hey, Eric, everybody clear. Clear the, um, clear your desks. No more notes. Put your notes away. We will be starting the Game Sense Kahoot. Ooh, can I have the music on? Please tell me there's music. Please tell me there's music. Do 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 can I turn it up more? Do 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 Alright. Everyone pull out your kahoot. I'm gonna show the pin in 10 seconds. Pull out your pull out your 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 phone. 10! Oh also uh every question is a minute long, so there will be no more. Uh, delay problems 10 9 you need your phone back okay 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 here 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 there you go there you go all right oh your phone too okay yep i don't want to hey hey listen before i give it back listen come here no more listening to trash music agree okay here you go all right go sit down get your get your phones out get ready five Four, three, two, one, boom. Join, 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 join. Join, 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 join. Okay, I gotta fix my camera though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of people gun coming in. Everyone join up, join up. We're gonna start up in very very soon. Will you have homework? Yes, there will be homework.
Yo, whose name is? Yo, hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What are these names, bro? Bro. How do I kick this person out, dude? Did I kick him out? Bro, do not have some weird freaking name, man. I'm not trying to get demonetized. Legion's kid. Lucky Puffin. All right. I think everything looks good here. Is that, is that, is that everyone? I think we can fit in like eight more people. All right, we got, we can fit a little bit more people. We can fit, I think five more people before we start. Wait, what is this name, bro? Bro, I'm taking, I'm taking that name out, dude. The fuck? All right. Uh, everything looks good here. Three more people. You're ashamed in yourself? You should be ashamed. Don't make me put you in detention, my man. I will call your parents. And we'll have a talk with the principal. Can you use notes? No, this is a quiz. No notes. No notes. Take your notes away or else I will take all of your notes and all of your, your phone, your food, your shirt. I'm gonna take you to detention. Dude, how many people can we fit? Player limit. All right. Oh. All right. Let's start. I'm locking everyone in. Locking everyone in. Starting. All right. The stream has like very little delay, but you have a minute, so you should have time. Let's get it started. What is the best way to improve game sense? Best way to improve game sense, chat. No, 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 there's a minute. There's a minute. There's no stream. There's no stream today. Dang, this music goes hard, bro. Who made this? Who made this track? Also, if you're not in the Kahoot, please type your answers in the chat. Uh, you can say, you can say the, the shape, you can say the color. So you guys are, don't think, don't think just because you're not in the cahoot doesn't mean you can just miss out, okay? Choose your answers. Everyone choose. I'll be paying attention in the chat. I will be giving a random Athena charm to people who say the right answer. Boom, 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 boom. All right, the best way to improve game sense. Wait, who said situations? All right, bro. Ah, yes, played the game a lot and ranked a couple hours a day. Neok, thank you for the sub. So yes, play rank a couple hours a day, play the game a lot. Unranked, not so much. Situations, bro, the situations are so bad, bro. They are so bad. All right, Clips is in the lead. Clips is in the lead. When roaming, what is your main goal generally? Generally, what is your main goal? Y'all kicked out? Wait, I didn't kick you out. What the heck? Uh, it might have been a player limit, but I didn't, I don't think I ever time, I didn't, I never removed anyone like that. What is the right, what is the right answer, chat? What is the right answer? What is my mouse? Uh, Logitech G Pro Wireless, super light. What color is it, chat? I don't know. Green's looking really good right now. Green's looking pretty good. Dang. Yo, who said? Who said? All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Oh, that's weird, JX. Hopefully you get in the next one then. 
All right, not too bad, not too bad. I don't know. I should make. I don't know if I made them all yellow, but oh dang, H is in the lead. Clips is no longer in the lead. Also, you guys get double points by the way for the right answer. What should you do in prep phase as warden? Should you help out sight? Should you tell your dog he or she is a good girl or a boy? Should you watch the new I Spice TikTok? Should you go AFK until you spawn peak? What's the right answer? Blue? Oh yo 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 yo! I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna help you out, bro. It is not blue, and it, and it might be blue actually. It might be blue. Get your answers in, get your answers in. <clears throat> Yo, chat, did you drink your water today, by the way? Drink your water. Wow, okay. Okay, you know what? Pretty good so far. Hey, you know, this was actually a right answer, by the way. Yes, you are allowed to pet your dog. Yo, type a one in the chat if you guys have a dog. And you can add, you can, you can tell me the, the breed if you want. But yeah, if you have a dog, type a one in the chat. Listen, man, I love dogs, man. I love dogs. I will, I would get one, but my mom is such a clean freak and she doesn't want to clean up after him. Yeah. Hey, you have a Shih Tzu? Dude, those are some, aren't they really shy dogs? All right. Interesting name, but go ahead. In the last 45 seconds of defense with no walls open, what should you do? I know my camera's blocking it, but in the last 45 seconds, what do you do? Type your answer in chat right now. Of course you would pick blue, Aiden. Of course you would, bro. Bro's a warning, man. I don't know, man. Barricading the door offs is sounding real good right now. I mean, like, imagine like you just you just castle them off of sight. That might be a that might be a diamond one strat. Also, chat. There are multiple answers, by the way. In, in some of these questions, there are multiple answers. I don't know, Buffalo just be watching Uzi and Spoy, and then they'd be like, you know what, I'm gonna do that, and then boom, 0 and 4. Good, discuss, discuss crossfires and Who said barricade the door off, bruh? Bro, what? Is bro playing Home Alone Simulator? What's going on, dude? Yes, finalize your position for the execute is correct. That is correct. All right, who's in the lead? Clips is back in the lead. Damn, Pangu, Blake, Solo J. Nine players hit an answer three streak. Dang. All right, all right, let's get into the next. In general, if four people on your team are pushing study balcony on Villa, what do you do? I know my camera's, my camera's fucking blocking it. Dude. Let's do this. Do this. All right. What color is it? What color is it? Boom, boom, boom. Pick your answer, pick your answer. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. Good, good. Yes, figure out what utility map controllers be taken. 
Uh, if you guys are very close, it's okay if you want to do a direct take, but for the most part, you should not have four people on study balcony. It's it's such like I see so many people who do it. It's like staying on the roof on cafe. It's like staying on the red hatch on cafe. Like if you're on there like longer than like a minute, you're you're you might be in copper. So, but yeah, spreading out and applying pressure. You know, hit it from the hit it from the back. It's my favorite angle. So, all right. You can't see the far. Can you move closer to the front? Uh, you're going to sit on the floor, but go ahead. Come up. How many questions? There's 10 questions. 10 questions. In a 2v1, what is the first thing you do? In a 2v1, what is the first thing you do? Type your answer in the chat right now. What color is it? Type your answer in the chat. All right, so we have red, peek the enemy. We have yellow, PLA passive and wait for, to work with the teammate. We have blue, run around the map and find the last one so you can go eat dinner, AKA mom is very mad. Uh, or green, hop on cams to find the last person. What are we doing? What's the, what's the, what's the answer? Listen, remember that there's more than, there's more than one answer. There's more than one right answer. Can't play an empty stomach? Exactly. Exactly. Two. Dude, 10 people haven't said an answer. Yes, good. Play passive. Good, good, good. You got kicked? I didn't kick anyone, bro. Yes, blue is a blue is a right answer. I'm surprised a lot more people didn't say blue. That is that is a right answer. That is the right answer. That's double points. Wow, H is in the lead now. No more, no more clips. All right. What is an example of predicting the enemy? What is an example of predicting the enemy? You got an ad? Listen, there's only one way to prevent ads. And that's a free alternative with Prime. You just got a PC and bought R6, but I don't know if I should switch from PS5. I don't have teammates. Oh, bro, you can easily find people. Bro. You can find people just by just using game chat, man, and Discord. But trust me, yeah, you just put yourself out there, bro. It is multiple choice. What are you talking about? wait chat do y'all know what the the strategy is on on an sat or like any kind of quiz do y'all know from a b c and d or yeah a b c and d you know y'all know the easy trick is good good everybody everyone chose right answers Is yellow and blue the same answer? Yellow and blue. Gunshots, utility. Gunshots and utility noises. I mean, sound could be like footsteps. Could be... It, it's basically, yeah, very similar. Very similar. All right. Okay. Uh, H is in the lead. Dang. H is in the lead. Moving on to the seven or eight question. If a teammate is nearby in a gunfight, what should you do? If a teammate is in a gunfight, what should you do? Uh, it took me about chat. How long did it take for you guys to get used to mouse and keyboard? For me, it was like uh one to three months to get like fully used to it. About like one to three months. What color is your answer, chat? Put your answer in chat right now. What is it? Eagle him until he quits the game? Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Stay behind for the refrag. Drone him immediately. Check cams or give him false comms and manipulate him when he dies. Gaslight him. 
be like, no, you didn't listen. And then and then he he has a mental, yeah, just just gaslight. Gaslight your team. Listen, I was pretty much in a rush. I couldn't spell immediately right. Alright. Okay, so the reason why it's not a drone for him immediately is because you would be a you would be gunned down. And I said your teammate nearby is in a gunfight, like they are exchanging bullets. Drone, he, he doesn't need a drone, bro. He already knows where the enemy is. He needs an extra gun behind him. Now, drone for him, like, early on might be okay, but immediately when he's in a gunfight is not the right move. It's not. He didn't study for the test. Come here. Come here. Does it look like I give a fuck? Huh? Doesn't look like I care. You were the one that signed up for here. Your parent might have signed you up for this class. Listen, this is your responsibility. I don't care. That is on you. You need to study more. Stop scrolling on TikTok until 3 a.m. Go do what you need to do. Go study. Go do your sports. Stop scrolling all day on your phone. Do what you need to do. You have things written down. You know what you need to do. Why are you procrastinating? All right? You should be studying right now. In fact, you're no student of mine. All right. I think this is the uh, second to last question. Dude, H is probably going to win, bro. I don't know. Blake's in the close. Giorno, thank you for the sub. Chat, make sure you subscribe right now for the Athena charm. Example of game sense. What is an example of game sense? We have intentionally taking the least amount of map control needed. We have pre-placing your cams in the room that you will be taking. I have not peeking with a minute left unless map control is contested. And last one would be taking map control after you killed the enemy. Wait a minute. I might have messed up these answers, actually. Wait, I might have messed these up, actually. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I gotta see. I gotta see. I might, have, <laughs> I might have... I might have... I don't know if I did the right ones that were correct. No, it should be difficult. Even even I don't know what the right answer is. It should be all of them. Oh yeah, yeah, it was all of them. It was all. This was kind of like a. Yeah, it's all of them. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll go over why they all. I mean, so in, intentionally taking the least amount of map control needed. Needed. So this is basically a default take. I just made it really smart. That is a, a default take. Default take is an example of game sense. Pre placing your cam is a room that you'll be taking. You know, that's, that's good game sense. Context, yeah, that's well. Listen, Han, it's not my fault you didn't study, okay? It's not my fault. All right? Life ain't fair, my boy. Life ain't fair. Not peeking with a minute left unless map control is contested. Taking map control after you killed an enemy. Teacher has his favorites. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, 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 listen. I got no favorites. Everybody here, it is man for yourself in this Kahoot. Every man for himself. All right, guys, last question. Last question. It looks like H is probably going to win. Blake is right behind. Solo J might win. Chat, who do you guys think is going to win the Kahoot right now? H might be thrown off. Who do you guys think is going to win the Kahoot? Oh, shoot. You guys can't fucking see the names. Oops. Got yeah, Blake, Solo J, Tuya. All right. How should you pick your operator in Siege? This is an easy one. This is easy points right here, bro. Should you pick your uh, operator off the enemy's playstyle setup or attack strat? Uh, the best gun that you can frag out with. Uh, you have black eyes on their gun. 
or the operator is attractive? I don't know. Green's looking like a very good answer right now. You listen, I, I mean, if you were a winner, you know, winning is green. You know what I mean? Money is green. So like, you know what I mean? Like you might want to, might want to put two and two together. Green's looking real good. It's looking real good. Blue and green. These, I like how you think. However, you were incorrect. All right. Yo, who said? Yo, I gotta know who, who voted, bro. I gotta know who voted that. But yeah, off of the enemy's play style, best gun you can frag out with. That's These are both valid answers. All right. Okay, who is the winner? Who is the winner? H in first place. Yo, can we get a clap in the chat? Get a clap emote in the chat. Uh, it's number two for Blake. Uh, Solo J in third place. But H, congratulations. Congratulations. You have won the Kahoot. I don't have a prize for anyone this time. Uh, but, but hey, guys. Hey, guys. Please sit down. Listen. The bell does not dismiss you. I do. Okay. So... Let's pull up the homework. We have, we do have homework. We have homework. Um, I will be giving out an Athena charm code to a random person on the next class. All right, let's go to the, also, this is the Google classroom. Make sure you guys join the Google classroom. By the way, it is the discord, X much more discord join and the RC Academy section down here. The schedule homework assigned. Look at everybody completing their homework. A good student, a good students. Uh, assignments will be here. You have the student hall. You can talk to people. Uh, a lot of cat memes looks like. All right. So what is the homework? The homework. Homework for. Chapter five game sense. The homework for game sense will be. Send a clip of you performing any form of game sense. Write a small title for the clip you demonstrated. Do next class on what day is the day? It's uh, Saturday. Next class will be Monday. On Monday. 9.25, I'm pretty sure. 9.25. All right. Homework is assigned. Please make sure you do your homework. But, uh, hey. Hey, good class today. Yo, WRL class today. Put a W in the chat. Um, There might be a surprise quiz next class so make sure you guys do your homework please again my name is professor legion thank you guys for watching the stream and attending the class i know we had about like a two-week break um but that was basically the, the summer break basically um so any questions before i head out uh class is gonna be dismissing in about a few few seconds here do 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 Does it have to be for this class or another? Huh? The Kahoot was rigged? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you questioning my teaching? Are you questioning my teaching, student? But yeah, if this is your first time uh, in the R6 class, make sure you guys um, just don't be late. Next one. Don't be late. He used notes, not fair. Listen, if I ca I didn't catch him, but if someone was using notes, trust me, they will be eliminated from the class. They will be. I'll I'll take him out to the hall and, and give him a give him a, a one two. All right, I'll see you guys next class. See you guys later. I'll let Athena take over. Uh, I think he's gonna do something.
But uh, see you guys next one. Peace. See you guys later.